Hello and welcome back to the channel friends. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today in this video, I'm going to give you dictation for transcription number 37. The speed of the dictation will be 90 words per minute. The dictation contains 837 words. So the duration will be around 9 minutes and 20 seconds. The dictation begins in 10 seconds. So be ready for it. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Madam Deputy Chairman, I rise to participate in this discussion not with a view to ventilate particular grievances or to secure concessions and relief in the taxation measures. I am one of those who believe that there is no justification for additional taxation unless the conditions laid down by the Taxation Inquiry Commission are complied with. It was a commission presided over by no less a person than Dr. John Mathai, one of our illustrious finance ministers and it laid down that there was no justification for any additional taxation unless we complied with two or three conditions. One condition was that whatever tax was realized was being properly spent that there was no wastage or superfluous expenditure being incurred. The commission had pointed out that out of every rupee that was being raised by the government, 60 paise were being spent on administration and about 20 paise were being spent on social services including education etc and the balance for other things. Another was that whatever tax was being imposed should be realized before we brought out measures for fresh taxation. They also had suggested that there was sufficient room for economy in all the ministries and departments and effective steps should be taken forthwith to enforce the maximum possible economy in government expenditure. Now we have before us this audit report for 1961-62 which was presented to the Lok Sabha on the 6th June and which came to my hands last night and I have not been able to study it. I find that during the last five years we have imposed additional taxation and at the same time our revenue expenditure has gone up by about rupees 42 crores. So on the one hand we say that we are raising this money, these taxes for the implementation of the plan and for that reason every chief minister and ministers go about saying that we want money for the implementation of the plan. But what are the facts? We find that the money that has been raised is being used for administrative purposes. So it is not correct to say that. On the other hand, it is not proper because you must know that no plan, however well balanced and well thought out it may be, can't be implemented in a democratic setup unless you can enthuse the people. 
we have been depending either on foreign aid or on indirect taxation or deficit financing and more than once i have pointed out that these measures will not help to enthuse the people and unless the people are enthused we will not have any successful results so far as planning is concerned now it is necessary it is time that we should take stock of the situation for we have had 14 years of freedom and 12 years of democratic rule and of planned economy what are the results i am not one of those who minimize our achievements we have had some achievements which are remarkable of which we can be proud we have had three general elections and we can be proud of all this but it is equally true that the expectations of the people remain mostly unfulfilled they remain unrealized what are the expectations of the people they wanted an adequate supply of drinking water they wanted a little more wholesome food in their stomachs a little more cloth on their bodies a stronger roof over their heads freedom from the clutches of the corrupt officials and the grabbing intermediaries and speedier justice but what have we done have we been able to satisfy those expectations i can say no even in the third five year plan we find that all the villages have not been provided with adequate supply of drinking water and as for food only the other day the finance minister himself admitted in the other house that there was adulteration of food stuff all round not only that a former health minister admitted in this house that it was difficult to get any article of food unadulterated then what is the use of talking about pure food articles and of other health facilities when the people are getting articles which are as good as poison they are injurious to health the other day the finance minister is reported to have said that the taxation proposals did not affect the common man because he needed only coarse cloth and ordinary food during the last 5 years we have raised rupees 424 crores more including the taxation measures this year the increase in revenue will be about 75% since 1956 we have raised additional taxation to the tune of 75% and during the 5 years preceding this year the revenue expenditure has gone up by 85% i would like to know how much of this amount has gone towards developmental expenditure and towards social service so isi ke sath dictation yahan par khatam hoti hai उम्मीद करता हूँ आप लोगों ने डिक्टेशन अच्छे से लिखा होगा इसको ट्रांसक्राइब करिए काफ़ी अच्छा मैटर है मिलते हैं अगली ट्रांसक्रिप्शन में थैंक यू